Hi, I'm Mike, KD2KOG, part of the technical support staff at SDR Play. In this video, I'm going to explain and demonstrate the new RDS decoder available in SDR Connect Preview 4. What is RDS? Radio Data System is a communication protocol standard for embedding small amounts of digital information in conventional FM radio broadcasts. RDS standardizes several types of information transmitted, including time, station identification, and program information. A bit of backstory. The standard began as a project of the European Broadcasting Union, but has since become an international standard of the International Electrotechnical Commission. Radio Broadcast Data System, RBDS, is the name used for the US version of RDS. You can choose either standard within SDR Connect. Now let's go over the SDR Connect RDS decoder features as well as seeing it in action. Start the stream in if it is not started already. Verify that the RSP's RF notch filter is off and the RSP's RF gain slider is set to the maximum. If setting the RF gain to the maximum creates an overload warning, simply back off the RF gain slider until the overload warning is no longer displayed. Navigate to the toolbar and set the mode to wide FM with a filter width of 192 kHz. Scroll down and select audio and expand it. RDS should be ticked on. It will show in blue when enabled. Now depending on your region, you will need to select the RDS standard within the SDR Connect preferences. Remember, RDS is for Europe and RBDS is for the United States. Navigate to the upper right auxiliary spectrum. You will see a tab labeled RDS. Click it to display the RDS decoder. The top of the RDS decoder shows a binary phase shift keying constellation. Below the constellation is the program identification. This is the unique code that identifies the station. Below the program identification is a program service name. This is an eight character static display that represents the call letters or station identity name. The main spectrum will also annotate the decoder program service name. You don't need the RDS decoder panel visible to display the program service name on the main spectrum display. You just need to have the RDS decoder enabled. Below the program identification is the program type. This displays up to 31 predefined program types. The bottom portion of the RDS decoder displays the broadcaster's defined text. It can show the artist and song title, advertisements, or any additional information the broadcaster desires to display as text at any given time. I will place additional information links in the video description below that will assist you with general RDS information. I will now navigate the FM broadcast band. The audio will be muted per YouTube's copyright rules. While I start from the bottom of the band and work my way up, keep an eye on the data shown in the RDS decoder. You will see me shift between the RDS decoder and the MPX spectral display. I make use of the MPX spectral display to see how well I am receiving the RDS subcarrier at 57 kilohertz. I will also decode RDS using multiple VRXs. Each VRX added will display the program service name on its spectrum, but remember to click the Enable AUX Display button for the chosen VRX you wish to send to the RDS decoder panel.
I hope you have found this video informative and helpful. If you have any comments, please leave them in the comment section below. Remember, RDS is only used on analog stations. If you're an FM broadcast DXer, I recommend utilizing the MPX Spectrum and SNR figure to make antenna adjustments if possible and peak the subcarrier shown at 57 kHz and aim for a high SNR number. Also, make note of the decoded PI code and then look up the PI code online to confirm the station that is broadcasting. If the station received is DX, add it to your log. 73 for now all. Thank you so much for watching.